Hello guys, welcome back. Um, so in this lecture, I'm going to talk about the uh, the loci on a complex plane. Now, uh, for example, if a question that is given to you that will look something like this: z modulus is equals to four. Okay. Now, what this actually means is that if you plot this on an argon diagram, okay. So if I if I have an argon diagram here where this is my real axis and this is my imaginary axis now what this means is that I want to know what is the real and imaginary numbers that will give me a modulus of 4 so uh, just to recap modulus the meaning of modulus is just means the, uh, the distance so the distance from your origin origin to Z okay now in this case there will just be uh, a circle right why would be a circle because each modulus uh, that touches the, the circumference of the circle will have a modulus of 4 so how do we find this uh, geometric interpretation? What we what we must do is that we have to put z is equals to x plus y i. Okay. Now don't be confused. This x and y is not the one that you usually work with. Uh, you know how you have that um, your x and your y. That's not what they're talking about here. In in this case, x and y just represents a number on the argon diagram. So x could be one, two, three, four, and y could also be one, two, three, four. So, so keep in mind that x and y only uh, is only applicable in the argon diagram. Okay. So let us try and solve uh, the equation for the circle. So we put x and y i into z. So that will be modulus x plus y i equals to 4. Now for any modulus, right, uh, when we want to find a modulus, what we need to do is that we have to squ uh, we have to take the, high, um, the Pythagorean theorem, uh, x squared and y squared and the square root everything. So that will be x squared plus y squared square rooted will give me 4. So therefore x squared plus y squared will give me 16. So therefore uh, if you know the equation of a circle r squared will be equal to 16 and therefore r is equal to plus or minus 4. So on the on the argon diagram it should be so I'll start with uh, I start with the origin zero zero because there's no translation and then I mark four this way and a four that way and then I draw the circle okay so basically that's what it means okay now in the next lecture we're gonna oops, sorry so in the next lecture we'll talk about uh, more about the uh, how how do we solve more complex questions but um, this is what we can do at the moment so I'll see you guys in the next lecture